Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Okoyemi. I'm a medical doctor, and on this channel, I make videos on medicine, lifestyle, personal development, all things inspired. <laughs> um yeah so i do hope that if you're new on my channel you do consider subscribing before you leave here today on this channel i try to make content around medicine like the one that you're watching today that would help who are trying to make decisions about whether they want to go into medicine or not to make a better and an informed decision by understanding as many things as possible as they need to about medicine and also as a way to educate the general public about the profession medicine in nigeria okay great so i'm gonna dive into today's video and as you can tell from the title in today's video i'm going to be discussing two things with you guys today the first one being talking about the nigerian doctor titles and second one being talking about the specialty pathway in nigeria guys if i had a penny for every time that somebody asked me what my specialty is when i was about to finish medical school or when i finished medical school i would be so rich and I understand the confusion. It's because a lot of people have seen movies like Grey's Anatomy, Chicago Med, where um, specialty training is different from what it is in Nigeria. Um, and they just expect that, oh, once you finish all together, you would be like a specialist, okay? But unfortunately, that's not how it works. And I'm going to be explaining all of that to you in today's video. So we're starting off with the doctor titles in Nigeria. The first thing is that when a doctor finishes medical school which is ideally six years but then we know it's nigeria it can be longer for several reasons such as strike um but ideally six years um the doctor has to do something called a housemanship or an internship or house job and usually house job is for one year and it's basically when a doctor works under the supervision of more senior doctors okay and so a doctor who is doing internship is called a house officer and usually house officers are like at the bottom of the food chain so that's the first title that you need to know so if you hear oh i'm a house officer it basically means oh i'm a doctor who just finished medical school who is in her first year of training and basically trying to learn the ropes of clinical medicine so what then happens when a doctor finishes internship here the doctor goes on um actually when working as a house officer you're under provisional license you don't have a full license by the medical and dental council of nigeria so during your rotation for house job is when you get to rotate through the four major specialties in medicine known as pediatrics obstetrics and gynecology internal medicine and surgery and so while the doctor rotates through all of those specialties the person is going to get signed um and graded um and so it's when the person is signed and graded that the person then goes back to medical and dental council of nigeria to get the full license if the person does qualify so when a doctor gets their full mdcn license they become a medical officer so i hope that is clear enough so the first thing is house officer up next is a medical officer so medical officers are basically the commonest titles that i'm sure many of us have heard or probably not because we probably don't even notice we just hear oh i'm a doctor i'm a doctor everywhere so for example i'm a medical officer um and yes yeah, so a medical officer can then now decide okay do i want to do specialty training or not if a medical officer decides not to do specialty training the person remains a medical officer and can rise up the ranks as a medical officer becoming a senior medical officer chief medical officer sorry i think principal medical officer senior medical officer chief medical officer thereabouts um, but if a, if a medical officer decides, oh, you know what, I would actually like to specialize in, for example, psychiatry or mm, pediatrics, um, I would like to become a specialist in this area, then the person then goes through a different path. Generally, medical officers can work in private hospitals, general hospitals, teaching hospitals, as the case may be. Um, yeah. So if a medical officer decides to go into specialty training, what typically happens is that such a person has to sit an exam called a primaries exam and this primaries exam passing this primaries exam and then getting a job in a institution that is licensed to train postgraduate doctors is what makes a person on the path to becoming a specialist okay so i'm going to explain the titles involved as well in specialty training so also i forgot to mention primaries in nigeria can be attained by writing two different kinds of exams. So the first one is something called a national exam, while the other one is West African. 
the national exam is one that is only for Nigeria. So if I write nationals, I can only use that result to enter specialty training in Nigeria. But if a person writes West Africa exam, the person can use such a result to enter specialty training in any West African country. That's basically the difference, just as the name implies. But then again, there's something called exception where a person can pay. So for example, a person has passed nationals, they can pay to get an exception for West Africa. Okay, and then yeah. <laughs> so so after a person passes primaries and then applies for a job where again the decision is licensed to train postgraduate doctors, the person becomes something called a resident doctor. And usually the first level is being a registrar. So I hope this is clear. House officer, medical officer. Medical officer could go on to not specialize and become a senior medical officer, principal medical officer, chief medical officer. That's one part way. The other part way is the medical officer could decide to say, oh, I want to go ahead and specialize. And so they take the primary exam, either nationals or West Africa, and then they become a resident doctor. And as a resident doctor, the first level is to become a registrar. So typically such a doctor will work in the capacity of a registrar for somewhere between two and a half to three years, or maybe two to three years, um, and would go through several rotations within the specialty that they're doing, and would also have to sign off several competencies. And when they are deemed fit, such a person can apply to take exams called the part one exams. You guys see, you need to know that we met saying the reading never ends, like literally never ends. After taking the part one exam and passing, a registrar then becomes a senior registrar. Okay, so that's the part way for specialty training. So a senior registrar is definitely like the more senior doctor to the registrar and to the house officer. So typically in teaching hospitals, how it usually works is for every unit, there is a house officer who's like at the bottom of the food chain and does all of the like dirty job for the department. And then there's the registrar and then there is the senior registrar and then there is like the consultant, the specialist, the attending, which I'm going to be explaining now. So when a person has been a senior registrar for a number of years, as expected, such a person can then take the part two exams. So I've mentioned three exams now, the primaries, the part one exam, then the part two exam. And then by, by virtue of taking the part two exam and passing a senior registrar, yay, then becomes a specialist. So when he hears people say things like, oh, I'm a pediatrician, or oh, I'm an obstetrician and gynecologist, or oh, I'm a psychiatrist, or oh, I'm a physician. It means that such a person has gone through specialty training to become a specialist in that particular area, okay? So usually, like I said, the pathway is house officer, medical officer, who can decide to be a medical officer throughout their career in medicine, or can decide, okay, I want to go into specialty training, which can happen at any point in time of being a medical officer really there's no timeline to say oh you have to be a medical officer for a year or two years there's nothing like that you can enter into specialty training even as soon as you finish house job all you need to do is just pass your exams really um so yeah there's that part way and then it's part two of house officer registrar senior registrar consultant and that's what makes a person a specialist in nigeria so i've tried as much as possible to explain the titles alongside the specialty pathway, alongside the exam requirements. And I hope that this was clear enough. So if you're considering medicine and you think that going to school is all that's going to make you a dermatologist, I'm sorry, but that is very incorrect. You're going to have to first finish medical school, then take exams to get into specialty training and then become a specialist basically. Um, so, the only difference between this and medical school is the fact that you're actively working, you're actively earning a salary, and you're working in the capacity of a doctor at the same time. So that's what makes all the difference over here. So I've tried to explain this uh, pathway and titles as much as I can, and I hope that this was helpful to you. And in my next medicine video, I'm going to be talking about how much each of these doctors are paid, because of course your salary Salaries vary for each level 
of medicine so i'm going to do a breakdown of how much doctors are paid and talk about why jackpot is a thing among doctors so if you like to see that video definitely let me know and i hope that you enjoyed today's video as much as possible if you have any questions as always please ask down below and i like today's video's vibe i'm standing i'm making this video because i need to get it out <laughs> so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i hope to see you guys in my next one bye